Hi, I'm Jerry Bryant. I'd like to talk to you about a term that maybe you have not heard before. It's a new way of looking at having intimacy with the heart of the Father. I remember years ago when Jack Frost came and spoke at our Vineyard Church about knowing the Father's heart. I've never forgotten some of his messages. It's been part of my life. Wanting to know the mind and the Father, mind of the Father, the way he thinks, what he wants from some of the things that he asks of us. And a lot of times it's not that we're stuck, we just don't get it fully. And for a long time being a pastor in the Vineyard Movement and having many supernatural encounters with God, I thought I was all in. <laughs> Until I started beginning to get understanding that there was so much more in the book that I had not yet experienced. I really couldn't talk about it because I hadn't experienced it. It'd be kind of like going to a, a zebra and saying, hey, what's it feel like to have an elephant's trunk? Well, I don't know. I don't have an elephant's trunk. And so there's a term that we're using now called the ascended life. It's folks that honestly believe that the Word of God says that we're to come higher and He'll show us things that we've yet to know that it's important that we are in a, a new place where the old wineskin has been efficient to a point in getting us to understand the gospel and the plan of salvation. But once you have found identity in Christ, and then once you've really embraced sonship and all that that offers to you, then there has to be a partnership that begins where you begin to partner with God. So what he's trying to do right now is to train us to rule and reign with him. And he's doing that by uh, bringing us back, I think, to some things we've forgotten. Just like we forgot about prayer. The prayer movement then took care of that. We forgot about the gifts of the Spirit. And then that movement helped. And now we're in a phase where people are beginning to understand heaven is real. And you don't have to die to go there. <laughs> and you can encounter right now the living God, the angels, the host of heaven, the, the cloud of witnesses. And for me, it wasn't something I was pursuing, but I, I was invited by the Holy Spirit into encounters with God. And I didn't understand them, still don't fully understand them, but here's what's important, the fruit that's come out of them. The fruit was I didn't strive to make anything happen. I don't like manipulation at all. Number two, I just simply decided in my heart, if Jesus wasn't in the picture, I wouldn't be there. And so I checked out whatever was going on. It needed to be his heart, his nature, his character. And third and importantly, my relationships with God and with others were in a place of harmony. And if they're out of sync, that, that will taint the waters quickly. And with that basis then, I began to encounter and accept these encounters that I was having from God and different things, I found every one of them in the Bible, especially in the New Testament, that Jesus said you would do these things and even greater works would you do. Well, we haven't done the things he, he was doing, much, much less the greater works. And so with that here at this conference I'm going to and the kids are running by and having fun, we're just trying to encourage people that you can come higher, you can know more, you can experience the heart of God. And I want to say that the fruit of it for me has been I've fallen more in love with Jesus every day. He's so much more real. He's so much more approachable. The Father has embraced me with His love in ways that has absolutely wrecked me because of His goodness. And He's inviting you as well. If you're hungry, if you want to know, know, you know more about what He's doing in the earth today, then just ask. <laughs> All you have to do is say, Father, I want to be shown what I can't see. So give me an opportunity to learn your ways and to know your heart. And then that's all you have to do and watch and see what he does. He always answers prayer and he always fulfills his promises. God bless you.